Hello there. Welcome to another episode of my UI in progress series. Uh, just looking through some old clips. Basically, I changed my computer to my real computer as opposed to my laptop, and my audio is terrible. Just absolutely awful. And also, the clips are just like completely different fucking size and everything. It just looks super awkward. And uh, it's gonna look like shit, but. I'll just kind of run through the clips a little bit. I'm actually planning on, you know, kind of changing the the course of this series as opposed to going from monthly to. It's been about two months actually since I've uploaded the video, but as opposed to monthly, I'm just gonna set like basically arbitrary goals for myself as I usually do, and try and achieve those goals because. It's really what the game's all about. Um, but yeah, just wanted to go ahead and give this little paraphrasing, and we'll hop right into the video right now. See you in there. So we're starting off this video pretty strong. Got another pet at uh, 95 fishing. It's pretty dope. Um, yeah, I was just kind of working on, you know, smashing out. 99 pretty quickly on mobile because it's super chill and just recorded this clip just to uh, show off the pet. Hey, there we go. Level 99 fishing. That's pretty rad, dude. Well, there we go. Second 99 on the account. Uh, uh, so basically, I ran out of room. Uh, so I had to actually upgrade my pet house already, which is pretty wild. So there we go. Teak house, and we have four pets. Cool. So there's actually just one last thing that I want to do before I go ahead and, uh, you know, get my HP up and whatnot. And that's going to be the Broomhaven Agility course. So I want to get the... Uh, well, I eventually want to get all of the graceful sets, but I think that it's going to be a bit easier to get that one while I have lower HP. Well, I only got the 260 marks of grace for the other recolor. It didn't take too long, it just took about like three days of kind of AFK doing it on mobile, but we're finally done with that, and now we can move on to something else. I'm still pretty busy with uh, school right now, so probably gonna go AFK, um, but for now, <laughs> I actually just realized we still haven't gotten the fucking cape that I meant to grab like two years ago. Maybe we'll just go, we'll just go run down there and go grab it real quick. Oh, I forgot to mention, I actually got three agility levels. And almost to 84 actually now, from just getting those 260 marks of grace. Because I really didn't get that much experience from getting these other tickets. Oh, here we are. Uh, finally grabbing the cape. Yes, please. Awesome. Thank you. That's pretty rad. It's actually pretty useful, I think, because well, for one, it can teleport you right here to the fishing guild. Oh, teleport you inside. That's kind of nice because it's, really, it's pretty close to a bank, so if I need to unnote stuff, and then I think trade this dude for fishing supplies, so that'll probably be nice, come in handy in the future. And then you can also teleport to Otto's Grotto with it, which is nice for some cool stuff and stuff, so it'll be pretty nice for the future. Cool. I think I'm going to just drop all of these on the ground, because uh, I don't want to 
I want to make sure I get the right graceful set. There we go. Awesome. That looks pretty dope. It would look even cooler if I had the uh, cape. The 99 agility cape. That always looks really good together. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked on that. So I guess I never uh, made a clip discussing this, but for like the last two weeks of my class, I ended up just kind of chilling AFK in here. Um, I was making medic short bows and then just selling them to the general store. And uh, yeah, then I was pretty busy, so I was about to move. And now here we are. Took a little bit of a break. Um, I was busy moving and everything, school and whatnot. But I'm finally back to it. Wow. Fix that. There we go. I thought I might as well just finish doing what I was doing here. And uh, get back to questing. Finally. Cool. Just wanted to drop the beaver over at the house. And uh, yeah, I guess we're good to go now. Might just put these in the sack. Don't need that anymore. Just uh, figure out exactly what we're gonna be doing next. Probably just follow the uh, optimal quest guide, Delia. So that's how much we have in the cover for right now. So we made about a uh, 1.5 mil. Oh, I guess I just got the Mind Talisman. I think I might need that for a diary. I just look real fast. A diary or something. Make a Mind Hero, yeah. So I guess I'll hold on to that for a minute. Boom. Boom. There we go. Well, I died trying to fight the Warlord dude. The uh, Trinome Village quest. But I just got everything back in. And it's not a huge deal because I was trying to. I was going to take these things out, anyways. Uh, took out the Guam's, Hairlanders, and the Silver, and the Tome of Fire. Go that way. But uh, yeah, we gotta finish this. Boom. Another one down. I think I should probably um, set a bit of a goal here as to what <laughs> I think I what the uh, goal of this episode is, and I think what I'm going to try and do this episode is uh, specifically complete the uh, Arduin. Medium and the Barack and Draenor Medium Diaries. Uh, that way I can get started on Farmlands so that uh, you know, I can start getting rid of all this stuff. There is Murder Mystery completed. So now I am just finishing up the Holy Grail quest. It's actually on my actual new computer, so the clips from now on are going to be. Um, I'll actually be able to see my mouse so that is quite nice and yeah I was just finishing up this quest and it was pretty annoying it took me like 45 minutes to get my looting bag back because I uh, had to go to Entrana for a minute so like literally for just like two seconds uh, but yeah that's the end of the quest and there we go So now we gotta do recruitment drive, so I think I just have to straight up die. Yeah, so honestly I think I'm gonna just go do a bunch of LMS right now. Since I know that I'm gonna have to go you know do this a bunch of times. 
and I want to do LMS anyway, so I'm going to have to figure out how that happens, how that works, I guess. So here we are, my first game of LMS. This was just straight up god awful. Um, I had no idea how to PK. I'd never PK'd before in my entire life. I didn't even have my attack options on. So, yeah, I was in a terrible position. I actually won this fight. This fight goes on for like five minutes of us just meleeing each other with protect melee on. And so, weirdly enough, I found somebody as newbie as I was for my first game. It was hilarious. Um, but yeah, I actually improved quite a lot uh, in the first you know, couple days that I was, I only played for like three days. Uh, I didn't get any wins, unfortunately, but I did improve a lot. Um, so you'll see that very shortly here. So this next few clips are just the same day. Uh, it's my first day of LMS, and yeah, this was after about five hours, maybe I don't know, maybe four hours of practicing. Um, I think that I made pretty decent progress for the first day. Um, obviously, this is not perfect whatsoever, but. I think that uh, it really speaks for itself here because I actually was able to switch uh, between all three attack styles. Um, I was mostly by the, the first day I was able to do would go between mage and range because uh, that was what I was focusing on. And the second day, I started trying to learn how to uh, prayer like or just change my prayers onto whatever they were attacking with. So I was trying to pay more attention to what they were doing um, as opposed to what I was doing. And by the third day, I was trying to incorporate uh, some <laughs> some melee into that, like trying to finish people off uh, in a wise way because that was just not even happening. And this is, I don't even know, I got like very lucky on this fight, so, yeah. <laughs> and then this guy actually, he basically just got super mad. I saw this on a, on Twitter or something, I can't remember who I was watching, but I saw this on Twitter, and this dude was just like going around the building and just freezing. I feel like the, it's actually super easy to counter this move because... Literally all you have to do is just freeze the other person. Same thing with uh, when people walk underneath you. I think you probably just need to like freeze them uh, from my experience or just try and predict what they're going to attack with next. Uh, I kind of used that a couple of times, but I just felt like it was a little bit too cheese for me, so I wasn't super huge on it. So, yeah. So this was one of the last games that I played. I pretty much just started deleting footage on game because I had I have like so many I had so many clips at this point. Um, but as you can see, I actually did get pretty decent at all of us, or rather at at Tribird PKing. Um, I was able to do uh, pretty quick swaps and. You know, change my prayers, and at this point, I was kind of also changing my prayers for what I was attacking with as well. Most of the time, um, if I knew I was going to go for 
going in for melee uh, soon. I would uh, change to piety. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty sweet uh, learning experience. And uh, this is probably how I'm going to have to go about uh, doing my getting my looting bags in the future because it is way more fun than fucking digging around killing spiders. Just saying. get a win but fortunately it was not so there's the end of recruitment tribe pretty dope oh shit i just got 40 hurt bug and there we go priest and bro boom there we go nature spirit completed Ooh, 41 hit points nice And there is the poor sign of interest quest completed. I haven't done this one yet, it's uh, pretty much just came out. I actually had to, uh, I just went ahead and put my stuff there on the table down here. Just because I had too many things. I had to uh, make some room for some items, so. Yeah, handy little trick. If you're in a pinch, just throw some stuff on a table. And there is the Death Plateau quest completed. Pretty dope. Just finishing up uh, Scorpion Cutcher. This was ridiculously fast with 80 agility. Just saying. But uh, yeah, there we go. Scorpion Cutcher complete. Just finishing up the uh, Mountain Daughter quest here. Get a nice little 46 prayer. Very nice.
1250 total in the mouth. It's pretty dope. Just finishing up a uh, tourist trap through the XP on a uh, smithing here. There is elemental workshop one finished and 48 crafting and 37 smithing. Very nice. And there is elemental workshop two completed. Very nice quest to get out of the way, Lost City. Just snagging a uh, D-Long here real quick, um, since it's probably going to be my best in slot for a little while. And with that, we have, well basically, unlocked Fairy Wings. Super rad. And there is Shield of Wrath finished. Um, just doing this real quick while I was waiting for the start of the other one. There is a uh, creature of Frankenstrain completed. Another easy one. And there is a Soul's Bane completed. And then I'm just going to hop down real quick for a quick diary task. There is the Corsair Curse completed. And there we go. That's pretty much all of the favors completed. I uh, just have to do the quest and the little train station and stuff, and then we're good to go. And there is the Forsaken Tower quest completed. Cool, cool. There is Architectural Alliance completed, and with that we'll get a 10k XP lamp. It's pretty dope. Um, I think this is like a pretty decent time to end off the episode for right now. Um, and then the next one will be continuing with questing. And as for the farm runs and whatnot, I think I'm going to just, just get started on them and just bite the bullet. But yeah, there we go. 45 Herblore. Fuck me, super attacks. Let's do it. See you guys next time.